welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about the different kind of reactions in iron iron carbon diagram so basically three kind of reaction that will be take place in case of iron carbon diagrams so particularly that let's start with the iron carbon diagram here just you can see the iron carbon diagram it will be plotted between the weight percentage of carbon and the temperatures here I already take the diagram because in my previous tutorial I already put onto you my channel and that will be the mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so that will be the category of how to draw the iron carbon diagram so right now I am just taking the diagram and talking about the only different reactions that will be take place for the iron carbon diagram so let us start with the first reaction and that will be generally occurs at the higher temperatures and the low percentage of carbon is present into the materials so just you can see 0.18 percentage of carbon and the temperature of 1493 degree centigrade so that will be called as a peritectic reaction take place so in that case let's see in case of peritectic reaction our liquid plus delta phase that will be converting into gamma austenite phase but the temperature is 1493 degree centigrade and the composition is 0.18 percentage of carbon so that liquid plus delta phase by the cooling process that will be converting into gamma austenite phase if you are providing the heating in case of the gamma austenite so that will be once again converting into liquid plus delta so basically peritectic reaction that will be occurs at the 1493 degree centigrade or you can say that will be the higher temperature so gamma austenite that will be the solid phase of the carbon into iron at the higher temperatures so let's see the different kind of properties of the austenite austenite is a solid solution of free carbon or you can say ferrite and iron in the gamma iron or you can say on the heating of the steel after the critical temperature thus you can see on to the diagram that will be the formation of structure complete into the austenite which is ductile and non-magnetic materials so it is formed when steel contains carbon up to the 1.8 percent and the 1147 degree centigrade so just you can summarize the peritectic reaction that will be liquid plus solid phase and solid in the case of iron carbon diagram that will be representing as a delta iron which will be converting into gamma austenite at the specific temperature and the composition and the temperature is 1493 degree centigrade and the composition of carbon that will be 0 0.18 percent of carbon now we will discussing our next reactions so just you can see that will be take place at the 0 0.8 percentage of carbon and 727 degree centigrade so that will be the lowest temperature for the iron carbon diagram so basically that gamma austenite which will be converting into two different solid so in case of eutectoid reaction our gamma phase that will be converting into two different phase so if that will be the 0.8 percentage of the carbon so you can see that will be only making a pearlatic structures so let's see gamma austenite it will be converting into two phase and that will be the alpha ferrite plus cementite or you can say fe3c if there will be the proper mixture of alpha ferrite and cementite so you can say that will be the pearlatic structure so gamma austenite which will be formed by the peritectic reactions that will be the liquid plus delta it will be converting into gamma 
and in the case of the eutectoid reactions that gamma austenite which will be converting into pearlitic structure so pearlite is nothing but it will be the complete mixture of alpha ferrite and cementite so if i am talking about the diagram it will be the reaction that will be take place before the eutectoid toid composition or you can say before the 0.8 percentage of the carbon that will be called as a hypoeutectoid steel and if the reaction it will be take place so that will be called as a hypereutectoid steel so if in the case of hypoeutectoid steel that gamma austenite it will be converting into pearlite plus ferrite if it will be after the 0.8 percent to 2 percentage of carbon so that gamma austenite it will be converting into pearlite but cementite if that will be the eutectoid reaction or you can say gamma austenite it will be converting into pearlite pearlite is nothing but alpha ferrite plus cementite so that forms only pearlitic structure so now we can see the different kind of properties of the pearlite so pearlite is a eutectoid alloy of ferrite and cementite as the carbon content increase beyond 0.2 percent in the temperature at which the ferrite is first rejected from the austenite drop until or you can say at 0.8 percentage of carbon so no free ferrite is rejected from the austenite so you can see from the diagram after 0.8 percentage of carbon there is no any kind of presence of the alpha ferrite so alpha ferrite exists only up to the 0.8 percentage of carbon or you can say in the case of hypo eutectoid steel so this steel is called as a eutectoid steel and it is the pearlitic structure into the compositions so just i am talking about the eutectoid reaction that will be 0.8 percentage of carbon and the temperature is 723 your gamma austenite that will be converting into pearlite so once again pearlite is a mixture of alpha ferrite and cementite the most important part and that will be the third reactions or you can say eutectic reactions so in the eutectic reactions just you can see our liquid phase of the molten form of the iron and carbon that will be converting into two different phase of the solid so at the compositions that will be for the carbon and 4.3 percentage and 11 47 degree temperature our liquid phase by the cooling it will be converting into two different solids and that will be the gamma austenite plus fe3c or you can say cementite so if it will be forms the proper mixture of gamma austenite and cementite you can say fe3c that will be nothing but ladeburide so once again in the case of eutectic reactions liquid phase of 4.3 percentage of carbon and the temperature 1147 it will be converting into two different solids so solid one it will be representing as a gamma austenite and solid two that will be representing as a cementite and that will be called as a ladeburide so just you can see the different kind of properties of the ladeburide it is the eutectic mixture of austenite and cementite it contains 4.3 percentage of carbon and it forms at the 1147 degree centigrade so generally from the microstructure of the ladeburide just you can see from the diagrams it appears onto the alternate layers of the austenite and cementite with lead like color into the microstructures so by the summary of the eutectic reactions if the, our composition you can say it will be before the 4.3 percentage of carbon so you can say hypo eutectic transformation if that will be 4.3 percentage of carbon so you can see that liquid phase it will be converting into two different phases so you can see that will be the eutectic reactions but after 4.3 percentage of carbon your phase change it will be called as a hyper eutectic transformation so in case of hypo eutectic transformation liquid phase it will be converting into alpha ferrite plus cementite 
in the case of the eutectic reaction or you can say 4.3 percentage of carbon liquid is converting into gamma austenite plus cementite so these three reactions take place in the case of iron carbon diagram so summary you can see peritectic reaction generally 0.18 percentage of carbon and 1493 degrees centigrade so liquid plus solid converting into new solid and that new solid is representing as a gamma austenite for the eutectoid steel or you can say 0.8 percent carbon of the steel so gamma austenite it will be converting into perlite perlite is nothing but alpha ferrite plus cementite Third reaction, eutectic reactions generally occurs at 1147 degrees centigrade and the 4.3 percentage of carbon. So liquid phase, it will be converting into two different solids. So that two solid, it will be representing as a gamma austenite plus cementite or you can say Fe3C. So thank you very much. If you like this, then subscribe, like and share mechanical magic, mechanical learning tutorials.